Good morning everyone. My name is Amit Chaudhary and today we are going to talk about how to set up the SOAP UI to test the Salesforce API. First of all, download the SOAP UI from the SOAP UI website and click on the cat button here. And once it will be downloaded, you just need to install it. And I already installed the SOAP UI in my machine. So let's download the uh, Vistal files first. So just go back to your developer org and type the API and from the API download the Enterprise Vistal. So click on the Enterprise Vistal and save this file on your desktop. SOAP UI project. So click on the file and click on the new SOAP project and give the name. to the login call out first so click on the login and click on the request and from here remove all the unnecessary tags and specify your user id and password here have ip range setup then you need to pass the token here as well so i already have the ip range setup in my org so i don't need to pass the token here so once you will pass the user id and password here just click on the green button and this will be generate the token for you so now token is ready and copy this token for future use Now it's time to create a uh, create call. So if you want to create a account from the SOAP UI, then click on the create and click here. And from here, just remove all the unnecessary tag first. So I'm removing all. Now pass the session ID here. Now we are ready to create a record. So make sure in the, this uh, this tag you need to pass some more attributes. So I have we need to pass this attribute here and need to specify which uh, which object we want to use. So here I specify I want to use the account object. Then specify the field and the field value. So I want to pass the account name. Then pass account name. My first account record now click on the green button so this is failing just because of the URL so make sure you need to update the URL as well so go back to your developer org and check the URL so my base URL is this one just copy this base URL and go back to the soap UI and pass this URL here now click on the green button again So now click on the green button again. So you can see a record is created. So let's verify this record. So let's verify this record. So you can see the record is created in the sale also. And suppose if you want to do the update call, then similar activity you need to do for the update. Search for the update. Open the update and remove all the unnecessary tag from here. And pass the session ID. Uh, 
and specify the object type. And suppose if here I want to update account name. So update and specify the account ID as well here. Now click on the claim button. Now make sure you need to update the URL as well. So your account is updated. So you can go back in Salesforce org and verify the record is updated or not. So you can see a record is updated. So let's see if you want to test your own REST SOAP API, then you need to create your own SOAP API first. So I already have one small sample with me. So I already created one class with a global and uh, with the web service method. So in this, I just need to pass the name and it will be written the hello and the name. So download the Vistal file first. So generate a visual file and save it. So I'm going to save that on my desktop. Now how to use this one. So first of all, import this in your project. So click on add visual, then browse your visual. So my visual is imported here. Then click on the request and remove the unnecessary tag. And pass your uh, session ID here. And after the session ID, pass the name. Like, I mean, Chaudhary. And click on green button. So here is the output. Thank you.